This particular uh, system of bolting this in can look a little bit flimsy sometimes, but rarely have there's been. This is about the third cam that's had this sort of construction, and none of them have ever showed any problems with wearing or breaking or anything like that, so they're pretty tough. But, um, and the strange thing about all this, of course, is that there's never been another cam that could actually do this. This is, uh, this is a totally unique in the history of the uh, car engine. So let's see, that's the minimum end. You see it's lined up with the follower. You push it down, you've got an extra 85 degrees down here. Now this, um, this cam was actually built and the driving arrangement is so that this is, it turns this way in this direction at the top so that all the added duration, when you add the duration like this, it's all on the closing side of the valve. <clears throat> now this is to um, this is to test the engine for a late inlet valve closing. See if you control the uh, and what effect it has on the fuel consumption, which is pretty good actually. But um, if it was just for, for performance purposes it would sort of operate something like this where it sort of expands symmetrically on both sides but both functions can be combined combined in the same cam and uh, it's not particularly difficult you probably need a co microprocessor or something to uh, arrange things but it's not particularly difficult but as I say this is for um, this is to demonstrate the advantages of uh, late inlet valve closing.